एवरीवन सो मेनी ऑफ यू वांटेड मी टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू स्टोर दैट डेटा इन द डायनेमिक टेबल परमानेंटली सो टुडे वी विल डू द सेम टू डू दिस आई हैव टेकन द प्रीवियस कोड एंड आई हैव एडेड वन इनपुट बटन इनसाइड दैट कोड जस्ट बिलो द टेबल सो दैट आफ्टर क्लिकिंग दैट बटन वी विल बी एबल टू सेव आर डेटा एंड I have given a form action, and I have redirected it to save data dot PHP file with the help of post method inside the form. Now we will make some minor changes in our previous code. Inside the add student function, I have added this input type which is hidden, so it won't be visible on our page or in our table. And I have uh, given a name as ro array of roll number. and then value as roll number and we will do the same in add up student function which adds the updated data of student now we will see save data dot php file so uh, this if is to check if that button is clicked we will fetch the roll number and name array in the roll numbers and names variables now Uh, our for each loop cannot run two arrays, cannot iterate over two arrays at a time. So what what I have done is I have used one PHP function that is array combine, which combines two arrays. So its first parameter is key and second parameter is value. So what it will do is it it will take roll number as key and it will assign the name as a value of that roll number. So roll number will be treated as key and name will be treated as value. and i am storing those two arrays in name underscore number variable for the mysql connection with php what i have done is i have used mysql underscore connect function so i have used one of my existing database that is php mini project inside the for each loop we are iterating the name underscore number uh, array which is a combined array of roll numbers and name and then we will take the key and the value that is roll number and name and we will print those values for understanding purpose and then our mysql underscore query function will pass connection object to it and our query will be insert into studentinfo where studentinfo is our table name roll number and name are column names and we will we are going to pass the values that is roll number and name we are going to store a single roll number and name in one row so that's why i have put this query inside a for each loop so that's all for the storing for storing the value now we will just run it so to run this code you are required to have a xamp on your computer and then just start the apache server and mysql server so our table is empty now we will i'll insert few records inside the table and then i'll click save data and we can see that our three records are inserted now i'll just refresh the page and here we can see three rows inserted in table